bag. No, bro, just my bag. You should be loving. You should be softer. And you shouldn't be drunk. Thank you. Hey, relax. No. I'm going to leave. But I didn't do anything to you, and I don't know why you're being so mean to me. This memorable arrest lands us at the Tampa International Airport in Hillsborough County, Florida. Her flight got canceled, so she and her ride is like here. Okay. So we're trying to get her out. Just before 3 p.m. on a sunny December day, airport police get a call about a woman, pretty intoxicated, refusing to leave the Gasparilla Bar. <laughs> Couple of double shots. She ate food. I gave her water. I hit her with a mouth. Touch on their side. She needs to. So definitely have somebody to take her out. Or she, you know, she has somebody come and pick her up and everything like that. But I'm bro. I'm bro. This is all my bag. No, bro. Just my bag. Bro. Yeah, you're looking around in style. Okay, I'll be quiet. Yeah, pretend that you're like famous. Yeah. Oh, you got some I'm Britney Spears. You got <laughs> the woman you see here flirting with paramedics and slurring her words. Yeah, she's not Britney Spears. Rather, a woman later identified as Melanie Burnett. She tells first responders that she's been at the airport since 7.30 in the morning and was trying to get home to Philadelphia, but her flight got canceled. What, what's going on in Philly? That's where my home is. Oh. So you can hear some laughter. And we can walk out regular together. Please don't do it. Just do that. Please don't do it. We're waiting for Dustin. Is it Dustin? Yeah, it's Dustin fighting for me. He's going to yell at me. Who's Dustin? Who's Dustin? Officers quickly determine they have to get Burnett out of the terminal bar and look around for a wheelchair as Burnett is unsteady on her feet. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to go wherever you make me go. Police tell Burnett they're waiting on a wheelchair and she's not allowed to leave until they get one. I'm not walking. I'm not sitting in a chair. No. I mean, you were sitting here. I am sitting here. A chair so we can walk together. I'm not. I'm not waiting for. Uh, I'm, I'm not doing that. I am not. Do, I'm not doing that. Bro. Not wanting to wait around any longer, one of the responding officers takes matters into his own hands, grabbing a wheelchair from one of the nearby gates. While he steps away, first responders learn the fun friends Burnett made at the bar called her real friend Dustin, and he was at the airport ready to pick her up. Have a seat. There you go. No one cares. You're fine. But Burnett is not fine and nearly face plants trying to sit down. Eventually, she settles in and the officer is on his way to bring Burnett to her boss, or so he thought. Hi. Get a hold of your boyfriend, please. I don't want to call him. If I have to give you a ride somewhere instead of jail, get a hold of your boyfriend. Get a hold of your boyfriend. Why? Get a hold of your boyfriend. I don't have a boyfriend. Who's here to pick you up? I don't have anyone. <laughs> boyfriend, boss, the two can get confusing when you're as intoxicated as police officers say Burnett was. Fed up with her drunk doubt about who was picking her up, the officer asks for her ID. Control 199, copy Jersey DL. While the officer waits for dispatch to respond, Burnett begins to protest the wheelchair again. I don't need a wheelchair. Okay. I'm fine. You do need a wheelchair no, because you are not going to fall on my watch. Oh. So I need you to get a hold of somebody. You were visiting somebody here, correct? Get a hold of that person, and I need to talk to them. Burnett digs through her stuff, looking for her phone so she can call Dustin, who is allegedly her ride home. She clicks her phone screen, licks her lips, then hands the phone to the officer. Who am I speaking with? My boyfriend. And where is he? Florida. Okay. Hello? Hello, this is Officer Soto with the Tampa Airport Police. Are, are you here to pick up Melanie?
The officer and Burnett's boyfriend work out the details over the phone about where he was and where he needed to pick up his drunk darling. He is here waiting for you, so I you know. do so you do have somebody. I do have Okay, you I, lied to me. No, you said you didn't I have didn't any, lie to you. you I you lied and said anymore. I didn't have anybody that loved me. There you go. No one Don't put your hand in my face. Here you go. <laughs> I didn't lie to you. I I didn't ask you. I, if you have anybody that no. loves you, I said, do you have anybody to pick you up? Because that was the I question. Didn't think that, he would be here. that was the question. I just met him. I didn't think that he would be here. And you're being mean. You should be loving. You should be softer. And you shouldn't be drunk. I am not okay? drunk. You're in a public space. And you should be loving the altar alcohol. And you need to know your limit. And you need All right. to understand that if they Enough. offer... Enough. You have contact on the phone. Um, but I'm just saying that if you ask a question, and you ask me if anybody's there for you, and they say no one is there for you, you should believe it. The shuttle doors open, and the officer rolls Burnett into the airport tram. The officer knows Burnett's boyfriend will be on the other side of the tram, but what he doesn't know is that Burnett is about to bring him on a wild ride. Why are you feeling this? Don't be so hard. Steady on her feet, she can't walk, so we put her in a chair. Oh, and I, I paid my bill, I did everything I was supposed to do, I didn't do anything All cool. Right. All right, well, let's figure this out. Just, let's not she's got serious anxiety oh, issues. She's, 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 she's been out of her medicine for a couple of weeks, and she's freaking out. Okay. So, I'm oh, gonna oh, take care of her. You take the custody of her. I, I will take custody of her. I just, I got it. Despite his shirt saying Mission Possible, Burnett's boyfriend is in for what feels like a Mission Impossible. He tries to defuse the situation, pleading for Melanie to relax, collect her things, and leave the airport. But on his first try, he has no luck. Stop touching me! You need to get her out of here, or we're yeah. going to take her out of here. She's going to be Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Melanie, are you going to leave? Are I'm going to leave? to leave, but I didn't do anything to you, and I don't know Melanie? why you're being so mean to Melanie? me. Melanie, are you going to leave with your boyfriend? Yes. Melanie, you're going to leave. So why are you right being... now. He's not being mean to you. You need to leave. He's not being mean to you. Let's go. You need to Let's leave, Melanie. Just go. I'm giving you the courtesy to leave right now. Tensions wind down, and Burnett's boyfriend leads her slowly and patiently back toward the wheelchair to grab her items so they can finally leave. And just when they all think it's time to say bye-bye to the boozer... I think it's bullshit, because I didn't do anything to you. No one said you did. I didn't. No one said you did. Go, 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 go. You're causing a scene, and you're going to go to jail. I don't don't know what part of the second you stop bleeding, you're going to jail. You don't understand? It's time to go, man. Look at this. I know. I Follow get, your I boyfriend. This, yeah. Go. Disorderly intoxication requires intoxication and it's this. It's not I didn't do it. Melanie. 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 Enough. You. Enough. Can I just drag her out and come back and get her stuff? Where's your car? It's right there in the short-term parking. Level 8. All right. That's no. it. No. No. She's I didn't. Come on. Melanie, that's good. Burnett is cuffed and arrested. Her boyfriend is left to gather her things and clean up the literal mess she made on the floor and on the wheelchair. The original officer who found her drunk at the bar starts walking her to the airport jail. Okay, I'm not resisting. I'm asking you to stop because it hurts my f***ing shoulder. Please stop. I'm asking to take a second. Okay. Wait, pause. Did you see that? Let's rewind. While handcuffed, Burnett kicks off her flip flops. They fly through the air one after the other, nearly hitting airport travelers. Officers eventually manage to get Melanie through the terminal and to the parking lot elevator. There, she begs officers to take her handcuffs off. Please, she just take these off. My arms. You are under arrest. Yeah, the handcuffs don't fall off. If I'm under arrest, I'm just asking you. This is what I want. You don't get to say what you want anymore. You know, being nervous and being back directed on the transport. I didn't do anything. I didn't do anything. No, face the wall. Face the wall. Well, Go for an 11. Uh, her flip flops are probably in the hallway. No, oh, you yeah. I didn't hear anything. Flops, they were $11. And this is 13. I have to pee. I have to pee. In your van, jerk. Burnett is brought down to the airport jail. She gets walked into the main entrance and through several doors to her new home for a few hours, a holding cell. A loud lush then breaks her silence when an officer asks if she needs to go to the bathroom. I don't have to go to the bathroom. I already peed myself. I don't care. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. 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 The original responding officer leaves Burnett with another cop while he searches for the key to her handcuffs. Soon enough, he's back in the holding cell ready to lock up Melanie for good. I'm going to take the cuffs off. Okay. Are you going to cooperate? Yes. Okay. I didn't do anything to knock him up. Cooperate. Turn around. Turn Put this hand on the wall, okay? Okay. Give me one second. Yes. It's coming out. There you okay. go. Hang on one second. I'm gonna take that. Right. Give me one second. And I'll can be I out. do that? As soon as I take this off, you can. Give me one second. Okay. Can I put my hands up? Yes, you can. Okay. The officer walks out while Burnett faces the wall. Another officer alerts him that he left her hat in the holding cell. Uh, no, I don't have hat. Hold on, what's that? You can't no, have, you it can't right have it right now. Can you go to Officer HQ, grab toilet paper for the holding cell? 
Give me just one second. Officers get Burnett toilet paper, and she gets hit with a drunk and disorderly charge. It's unknown if she ever made her rescheduled flight home. Oh, Jesus. See, this is what I get to listen to. Yep. Welcome to this big show, Lisa. Whose idea was this to put my office here? 